we talked about the pandemic. Everybody went home in a lot of different industries, a lot of different parts of the world. Talk to me about how that concept of everybody going remote was affected by adopting something like Awaken and then how Awaken in the things that you're talking about. I think one of the things you mentioned was, hey, we know that while you're remote, you're not in the office, I can't just walk past your cubicle, your desk or anywhere else and see how you're doing. I'm able to see these other data points. Anything else that you're able to share or even deeper to that concept of when the pandemic hit to now, what was that like? Yes, yeah, so uh, obviously the, the world pandemic was a, was a real surprise and something new to all of us. And um, when it first happened, we were um, asked to do some work for UK government. So um, Awaken software is used by the UK government for all its what they call track and trace. So it's how they monitored and managed what was going on. So their requirement was they wanted something that was super agile because they didn't know what was going to happen next. So it had to be something that was easy to change, easy to modify. They also wanted everybody work from home. So we had connected to 25,000 home workers. Um, that were managed by 29 call centers or BPOs. So we connected to the BPO, then the home workers, um, and uh, and then back to NHS England, which is our, our national health management systems. And the coronavirus database that was set up, it was called CTAS. Um, so we were able to set that up and create that, that infrastructure within 72 hours. And then we worked with, with the UK government each time there was a change and had all the analytics behind it so they could see how people were doing, how patients were doing, you know, how the callers, patients, how, how the public was doing and how um, uh, the agents were doing and, and reach out for additional training, for support, um, uh, all of those sorts of things. And also make sure that they didn't have anybody asking for things they shouldn't ask. So it was a little bit of protection. You know, when you're trying to recruit 25,000 people in a very short space of time, security is of, 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 a, of a high, uh, is a high priority. So, you know, somebody say, well, can I get your account number or can I get data that they didn't need? That would immediately be highlighted and, and, and could be dealt with. So um, I think the, hy the hybrid and home working model the, the the other point of the often other point that often gets for, uh, forgotten is the attention to detail on security so customers data being secure is there someone stood over the shoulder watching them typing credit card information etc um so he's been able to use that to what we call redaction it redacts the information as it comes in so even if someone was standing over their shoulder they wouldn't be able to see it um so uh what that did for us and I think the entire industry is it made people get comfortable with home working or hybrid working very quickly. It made them implement an open gateway way of working where they would have a, a gateway, a secure gateway, but open enough that you could connect because most people would not open their systems up at all. If you weren't in the office, you couldn't do anything. And I think that really, that's really accelerated um, and a brand new way of working. And now that you've got that and you've got AI, it's quite exciting the way that we might be able to service customers and, and deliver excellent service.